Hello, my name is Mick Farkerson. I'm the Associate Dean Academic for the Faculty of Science. And I want to take a few minutes to explain to you about the first year science and gateway programs. Now in the Faculty of Science, we actually offer two entry level programs. The first is our direct entry programs. These are honours in integrated science, honours kinesiology and the medical radiation sciences program. I'm not going to talk about those here. There's individual videos that will explain these direct entry programs. What I want to talk about is our gateway entry programs. They're the chemical and physical sciences gateway, environmental and earth sciences gateway, the life sciences gateway, and our maths and statistics gateway. Let's look at chemical and physical sciences first. You'd enter in the first year. If your area of interest was uh, obviously involving the chemical and physical sciences, this would be a good choice. It has its own level one admission requirements. And if you satisfy those and you get into this gateway, there are recommended first year courses that you would take uh, in level one. And you can see, not surprisingly, there's chemistry and physics and maths in there. The Chem 1A03 and the Physics 1A03 are our most popular fundamental introductory courses and I've got a video to explain a little bit about what these are around. Chemical and Physical Sciences at McMaster is your gateway to upper year programs that provide challenging and rewarding learning experiences. Through the study of chemistry, students will learn about atomic properties chemical bonding, and the principles of chemical equilibrium and reactivity. A mix of hands-on and blended learning environments develop research and inquiry skills. Paired with the study of physics, students can expect to obtain a deeper understanding of the world around us. Through investigating force, energy, mechanics, and waves and fluids, students take complex situations and pick them apart to the minimal essential elements. Students also use modern sensors and equipment to make and test predictions in state-of-the-art labs. Courses in this gateway are at the intersection of many disciplines, helping to answer complex questions like, how much energy does the human body consume in a day? How does blood flow in arteries, and how can this help explain an aneurysm? How can we hear or see? And for that matter, what is light and sound anyway? Students in this gateway can expect an excellent instructor-to-student ratio backed by high-quality blended learning materials. They will develop technical analysis skills and research capabilities in order to pursue applications focused on health, energy, and the environment. Chemical and Physical Sciences is your gateway to a challenging and rewarding journey through the fundamentals of modern science. So if you successfully complete that level one gateway, that lets you in to programs starting in year two that kind of naturally lead on from that gateway track. We've got astrophysics, medical and biological physics, chemistry, etc. Okay, the second gateway is our environmental sciences gateway. Again, that has its entry requirements. And if you come into that gateway, um, there are a similar list of recommended first year courses that you should take. The key one is EnviroSci 1C03. And I have another video to give you an idea of what that course is about. Climate, water and environment is an exploration of our environment and how we interact with it. Your journey begins with studying how Earth's atmosphere redistributes solar energy through different climate processes in which water plays a central role. Also, you will discover the role of ecosystem and how human activity is reshaping some of our planet's most fundamental environmental processes. You will come to understand Earth's global energy budget and its role in the Earth's climate, how water resources are distributed on Earth measure soil properties, and how ecosystems redistribute energy and nutrients. You will learn the effects of and solutions to water pollution, how cities manage our wastes, and finally, the impacts of the global rise in human population. This course will help you understand how we can interact with our planet in a more sustainable way. 
you will find answers to interesting questions such as, how and why do clouds form? Why are there differences in climate across our planet? Why are there droughts in certain places when most of the planet is covered by water? Why is it that toxic pollutants are found in remote places where there is no industrial activity? In our labs, you will apply your mathematical skills to understand various climate processes and how water is distributed at a given location. You will also develop your communication and critical thinking skills by debating solutions to major environmental problems. You will gain valuable field experience through two field trips in the local area. Our labs have an excellent instructor to student ratio with supported small group learning experiences. Similarly, if you complete this gateway, then that leads on to our level two programs in this field of study. The third gateway I want to talk about is the life sciences gateway. This is by far our biggest gateway, um, taking on a thousand students a year. Again, it has its own entry requirements. And if you come into this gateway, uh, there's a list of recommended first year courses that you should take. The Life Sciences Gateway at McMaster is your pathway to upper year programs that provide stimulating learning experiences and fulfilling future career opportunities. This program covers a diverse range of topics and is designed for students who seek an interdisciplinary education. Whether it's studying gene expression in organisms or exploring cognition and neuroscience, you will develop an ability to examine our world from a variety of perspectives. These skills are essential for graduate work and for career opportunities in medicine, healthcare, and research in disease treatment. You will investigate the complexities of problem solving, intelligence, language, attention, and memory. You will map out the fundamental structure and function of proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, as well as nucleic acids, DNA, and RNA. You will also apply mathematical techniques to model enzyme reaction and population growth. Engagement with hands-on experiences in the laboratory will allow you to explore research on human gene expression, practice techniques used in the fields of cell biology and molecular genetics, and also participate in undergraduate research. Students in this gateway can expect an excellent instructor-to-student ratio through partnerships with trained peer mentors and graduate and undergraduate teaching assistants. Life Sciences is your gateway to a challenging and stimulating journey into the world of living organisms. Your journey begins here. So again, successful completion of this gateway leads on to a whole list of programs that start in year two. Final gateway is our maths and stats gateway. Again, it's got its own entry requirements and then recommended courses you take in the first year. And not surprisingly, these are all math courses. Where will science take you? In first year mathematics and statistics, you will examine topics from various areas of calculus, number theory, and discrete math. By learning the fundamentals of functions, limits, and continuity, you will learn to describe change and understand the concept of the derivative. This knowledge will then be applied to mathematical concepts such as sums, definite integrals, area, and volume. You will be exposed to a variety of interesting and important mathematical ideas. In the Mathematical Reasoning course, you will learn about the structure of mathematics and about math's most important building blocks, definitions, and theorems. By working with fun and engaging number theory content, you will learn about implications and other logical constructs, and you will start to write your own proofs. Computational thinking is an essential skill for any scientist, no matter what area they're engaged with. In your undergraduate years, 
you will learn how to program in several languages, working with both mathematical and statistical problems. You will write your own code and use it to investigate various mathematical questions and solve numeric and applied problems. Your first year mathematics and statistics experience lays the foundation for upper-level mathematics and statistics course offerings and many honors programs. During your first year, you will learn about programs we offer, including applied mathematics, statistics, and actuarial and financial mathematics. Your journey begins here. And again, this gateway leads naturally on to uh, programs that start in level two. So, it all sounds fairly straightforward. You know your area of interest, you go into the appropriate gateway, and then you do the right courses to get you into your level two program. However, what if it, you don't know what you want to do yet? Or what if you think you know what you want to do, but you change your mind? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. The gateways are designed to allow for flexibility in choices. So let's take an example. Let's say you think you want to do uh, psychology, neuroscience and behaviour. So you'd come in on our life science track. You would take recommended courses. You'd complete the entry requirements that you need to get into. PNB in level two, you'd enter that program in level two, and if all goes well, you graduate from that program in year four. But let's say you think you want to do that, but you get so hooked by our great level one physics course that you decide you want to do a degree in physics instead. Might be a stretch, but it has happened. So although you've entered the life sciences gateway in the first year, as long as you complete the entry requirements for Honours Physics, you can enter Honours Physics in Year 2 and graduate from Physics in Year 4. Well, let's say you come in on the Chemical and Physical Sciences track, but you take an elective in Environmental Sciences and realise that's something new to you and something you're interested in. That's also not a problem. So you'd come in on the Chemical and Physical Sciences gateway you complete the entry requirements for the environmental science program. You enter that in level two and you graduate in your year four. So the important point about all of this is that you need to plan your year one courses to meet the entry requirements of the program or programs you're interested in entering in your second year. So whatever gateway you're in, the important thing is to take the right courses in year one to maximise your programme choice, starting at level two. Now to do this, we've developed a tool you can use. It's called our McMaster Academic Planner or the MAP, and it's at www.mapsci.ca. It will look something like this when you when you get to it. I won't go through it all now. You can play around with it. Um, it's got a key. A lot of students are interested in co-op programs, so you can easily see which programs are co-op, have a co-op offering. But let's say you think you're going to be interested in medical and biological physics. I picked this because I'm a medical physicist. So what you do is you click on that station on the particular track, Notice this program is at an intersection of the Life Sciences Gateway Track and the Chemical and Physical Sciences Gateway Track. If you click on that, you'll come to a page. The important point about this page is it lists the Level 2 admission requirements. These are the courses you're going to have to take and pass in Level 1 in order for you to be eligible to enter this program in Level 2. So let's say you review the material, it is something you're interested in, and you click on the Start Planning for Level 2 button. What you'll get here is a list of the courses that are on offer in the fall term and the winter term. There's also spring, summer offerings there as well, but you can play around with those uh, in your own time. 
So what you do is you start to select the courses that you want to take in your level one. You can start in the form full term. So you're going to do some math, some chemistry, some biology. And what happens as you start to select these courses is on the right hand side here, it starts to tell you how close you are to getting into certain programs in level two. So let's say you take a full load, you're going to do five courses in each term. Um, and these are the five you choose in the fall term. You'll see there that you're not surprisingly not eligible for any uh, programs fully yet. Um, and maybe your choices aren't too good because you can't see the biological and uh, medical physics anywhere on that list. So you've got to make sure that you're looking at the program requirements. But let's say you go into the winter term, you're going to do a uh, second math. You're going to bite the bullet and do your physics. Um, and let's say you do a MedFizz course. Now you can see that you're eligible for, in fact, four programs, one of them being medical and biological physics, the others are the life science programs. But let's say you get to this point and you think, oh, I'm 88% uh, towards a physics degree. What if I wanted to change my mind and do a physics degree? If you click on that, highlighted in red will be the courses or course that you're missing in order to qualify to get into that program. So if you make the appropriate selections, then you can maximize the choice of programs that you can get into in level two. And if you play around with this tool, choose your courses carefully, you can maximize um, the number of programs you're eligible to get into in level two. If you want to find out more, click on this button and it will give you links to various tours, information for future students and when you're here, current McMaster students.